if you get a quote from your dealership, from your brand for replacing or fixing a battery pack, whether that's in a hybrid or an EV, do not accept the cost if it's high. If the cost is above one thousand US dollars, or one or about say fifteen hundred Australian dollars, don't accept that because there's often an alternative, as you'll find in the case of this guy who has a Toyota, a Prius got quoted a huge sum to replace the battery. I mean, we're talking ridiculously large sum for what is a really small battery. And well, he fixed it for peanuts. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Dealerships say, according to Inside EVs, that a dead hybrid battery means a multi-thousand dollar replacement is essential. Hybrid battery. Multi-thousand dollars for a hybrid battery. Well, here's the thing. Um, Toyota uses nickel metal hydride batteries in its EVs. And guys, when I was 19 years old working in the building industry, Nickel metal hydride batteries were considered great. That was 23 years ago. Um, Toyota has continued using those nickel metal hydride batteries in their EVs until basically this year. Just ancient technology. I mean, I remember the drills, cordless drills being really heavy because these nickel metal hydride batteries were heavy. Anyhow, a TikTok post that went viral shows that you shouldn't accept these ridiculous quotes from any company, let alone Toyota. I actually took it to a hybrid battery or hybrid car specialist and they quoted us $2,700 parts and labor to replace the hybrid battery entirely. And uh, we're gonna take out the battery today and test every individual cell and only replace the cells that are needed. And you can get these cells on eBay for like $30 a piece. Prius owner Alex Sierra wasn't wanting to pay $3,000 for a new battery for his hybrid um, when the red triangle of death popped up on his instrument panel. So anyway, he said, we're going to take out the battery today and test every individual cell and only replace the cells that are needed. You can get these new cells, these cells on eBay for $30 each, he said. Most people wouldn't have the expertise to do this, but you can find someone. Right, you can, There's plenty of people across the United States particularly and in Europe, not so sure in Australia, but I reckon you can find someone who can fix your battery for you without you paying crazy money. Now, the guy actually, what he does, he finds the failing cells, replaces them and rebalances the battery to ensure optimal performance. It costs him $100. Now, the quote he got from Toyota to replace the battery was $2,700 US dollars. So he saved himself $2,600 US dollars by doing this. Really Really good, um, really smart thing to do. Guys, to be honest, the markup that Toyota is putting on these batteries is ridiculous. I mean, $2,700 for a, an ancient nickel metal hydride battery for a Toyota Prius. Toyota would just have them sitting around doing nothing, gathering dust. They're basically worthless other than for replacement packs. So, I mean, really, if you're going to replace your Prius battery, you might as well get a lithium ion phosphate battery, which is going to be a step up and it's going to be cheaper. That's what I'd be doing. You can get them off the market. That is an option. Uh, but a better option is just sell your Prius before it dies and buy an EV with a proper battery pack. That's what I'd be doing anyway. So $2,700, that's, um, that's pretty wild. And apparently some in-store shops will charge as high as $5,000 US dollars or even more than that. So it sounds like Toyota is charging a reasonable price in comparison to some alternatives for the Prius in the US. Now, Inside EVs says this, in conventional EVs, replacing a full battery pack can cost ten dollars to $20,000 or more. And they're saying that lithium batteries are very expensive, ten dollars to $20,000 US or more. That's from Inside EVs. I really think these guys need to do some actual checking of the market because that's completely false. That's like information from three years ago. It's not true at all. Uh, the truth is, I've even spoken to the insurance companies themselves, like the people who actually work in the industry, the part of the insurance agency where they buy the lithium-ion phosphate batteries from Cadle, 
or whoever it is, BYD or whatever, and sell them or basically provide them for insurance purposes, they're like 3,000 Australian dollars. They're peanuts. They're really cheap. These lithium ion phosphate battery packs that they use to replace the batteries, and not all of them are that cheap. That's a smallish battery, but it's still a much bigger battery than in a Toyota Prius. And to be honest, comparing it here, 10 to 20,000 US dollars or more for a full battery pack in an EV, that is not right. There's no one's charging more than 20,000 US dollars, except some brands might do that. I mean, if you go to BMW, they might say that to you. But if you're looking about battery replacement, and you're not under warranty, why would you get BMW to do it? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, you'd really just go to an actual aftermarket battery company, uh, a, a company that replaces battery packs, or go to the wrecking yard. There's going to be wrecked wreck cars there, heaps of them. There's like really thousands of EVs that have been wrecked now, and um, they're for sale for often very very low amounts of money. You can often buy them for like $5,000. US The battery packs are often completely fine. And even then... You probably don't even need to replace the entire battery anyway. You can just replace some cells. So don't be scared off by these ridiculous numbers from inside EV saying it's going to cost you more than $20,000 to replace your battery pack. It's not. There's alternatives to that. You don't need to do that. That's completely unnecessary to go straight to the manufacturer of your, of your, of your car because what's the advantage of getting them to do it? There is no advantage, right? You're already out of insurance anyway. The rest of the car is not insured. So... Best thing to do, go to an aftermarket company or, or they can potentially repair your battery. And this is what Tesla can provide, a repaired battery pack. They can repair it or you can get a whole new battery pack for way less than that, way less than over $20,000. You can probably get one for less than $10,000 based on what I'm seeing available in the market. Or you can get one wrecked so you can get a secondhand used battery pack and they're often great. Get a low kilometer used battery pack. That's a really good solution as well. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.